In Creo Parametric, you can define both properties and options for sheet metal. Let's take a look at doing that. Now let's take a look at the session related options. Let's close out of here. Now I will go to file and then options. And this will bring open the Creo Parametric options dialog box. On the left hand side, you have a choice for sheet metal. And up at the top, we have some default directory paths. And let's take a look at a few of these. So first off, we have your bend allowance tables. Bend allowance, if you're not bending your actual sheet metal, you really shouldn't be messing around with bend allowance for figuring out what your blanks are going to be for bending your sheet metal. Also, as I hover over this, you can see that this corresponds to a config.pro option, pro sheet met dir. Next one we have over here, sheet metal preferences location. Hey, I just saved a sheet metal preferences file. Let's set that location. I'll click on the browse button and here it is in that last folder that I went to. Let's click the OK button and that way we set up the preferences directory. And once again, if you hover over the option, you can see that we have a tooltip that tells us the corresponding config.pro option. Next we have in here the flange tool shapes location and the flat tool shapes location. Hey, I've got a couple of folders set up for those. Let me click on the browse button and this should be, let's see for my, this is for my flange tool shapes. Let me select, select the flange folder. And here I have my flat tool shapes. Let me select my flat folder. And that way it'll automatically go to those locations when I try to use a custom flange wall or flat wall. Next up in here, this is an option I've been meaning to change for a while. PTC provides you some default models for punch forms and die forms. In another video, I showed you how to use them and one thing I don't like that I did is that right now I have these set to a particular folder in the Creo 4.0 load point. Let me show you how you can get to those particular files. Okay, here I am in Windows Explorer and right now I'm looking at a folder that I've set up for my various different sheet metal files that I want to use. Let me show you where you can get to those different die models and punch models. Let's go to our Creo Parametric Load Point. I'm going to go to where I have it installed on my computer, Program Files, PTC. And I recommend that you use the files from the oldest version of Creo Parametric that you might ever use. Let me go to Creo 4.0. Here I have the MO90 build code. Actually, let's go to the common files. And then in common files, we have a text folder. And within the text folder, we will find our folder for SMT. And in here we have die models and we also have our punch models. So those are some of the folders that have some PTC provided parts that you can use for die forms and punch forms. Well, let's not use this particular location because let's say a new build code of Creo 4.0 comes out that'll be in say the M100 folder. Well, if I have my config.pro options set to this particular location, it's not going to find them anymore. So that's why I like to copy these particular folders and then put them in a location like here I have C Creo sheet metal and I have the folders copied over here. Let's change the Creo Parametric options to point to those other different folders. I'll hit the Browse button and let's change for the punch models to point to the appropriate folder. And then for the die models, we'll do the same thing. Let's have it point to the copied die models folder. So in that way, we've configured the different folder locations the four hour directory paths for different sheet metal options. Next up we have over here for sheet metal parameters, you can associate the tool settings, which corresponds to the SMT drive tools by parameters config.pro option. 
and there is an additional option SMT drive bend by parameters. Let me show you what these two options do. They essentially generate feature level parameters for you. We'll just leave the first one checked in here. I'll click the OK button to close out of here. It says, hey, you haven't saved the options. I will do that at the end. So here I am in my sheet metal part. Let's say I go to create a new feature in the model. Actually, not a bend. Let's create a flange wall. I'll pick this edge. And here we are creating the, the sheet metal feature. Let me hit the middle mouse button to complete it. So here we have a new flange wall that is generated. Let's take a look at our model relations. If I go to the model intent overflow menu, I can get to relations. And when you create a sheet metal part or you convert a sheet metal part, you're going to get a number of relations automatically generated in here for the default values for say bend relief, corner relief, bend radius, etc. And some of these correspond to those different preferences that we took a look at in the model properties dialog box. Also, if I expand local parameters, let me make this a little bit wider. I'm going to scroll down in the list and we will find that we have a number of different parameters that are automatically generated because this is a sheet metal part. But I'm going to use this dialog box to change the look and drop down list from the default part to feature. And now I'm going to select that feature that I just created, flange wall one. And let's just choose out of here section and then done. I'm just taking a look at the different relations that are located within this particular feature. So again, I created a flange wall. It's got a number of different dimensions for say the angle of the bend and the radius and the length and a bunch of other different things. And you'll see that we have a number of relations that were automatically created that relate these different dimensions in the feature to the sheet metal parameters. So again, the fact that these relations got created at the feature level is based on those two options that I just showed. Let's take a look at that again. Let me click the OK button out of here and then go back to File Options and then Sheet Metal. So again, this Associate Tool Settings and Associate Bend Settings, that's going to generate those feature level relations if these options are checked. All right, so then we have a few other different options inside of here, like Show Corner Relief Notes. Once again, you can hover over to get a tooltip that tells you the corresponding config.pro option. Here we have to automatically create bends on sharp edges, and then a bunch of different options for the bend notes, whether bend notes are automatically shown by default, which you can also control that display from the in graphics toolbar. Here's the option for showing our bend notes. And here we have some of the default settings for the bend notes, like the bend note symbol for down and up and the element order and then the form state. And again, all these different things are configurable with config.pro options. So here we've set some of the different options in here. I'll click the OK button. Oh yeah, by the way, if you want to save these different options in your config.pro file, which is always a good idea, we can click the export configurations. Here's our config.pro and I'll save it to my standard location so that it is automatically read in whenever I launch Creo Parametric. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.